Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's News at... The company that owned the ill-fated ship El Faro will be taken to court. The family of crew member Lonnie Jordan plans to file a lawsuit against Tote Services and the ship's captain. Jordan's estate says the company should be held accountable for putting the ship in the path of Hurricane Joaquin earlier this month. We are here today to send a message uh, to big business. We're here today to send a message to, uh, to those who are in the corporate world that place more emphasis on making profits than they do saving lives. The owners of El Faro insist the captain had a sound plan to avoid Hurricane Joaquin, a plan that only unraveled when the ship's main propulsion stopped working. The Coast Guard called off its search for the ship after a week. Rescuers never found any of the 33 crew members. That lawsuit asking for $100 million in damages.